Hey, uh, yeah. at the Australian Open today, mm-hmm. that's in Melbourne, mm-hmm. uh, we have a young man by the name of Brody Young who's on the line. He's going to fill us in on exactly what's going on. Everyone say hi, Brody. Hi, hi Brody. Brody. Hello, everyone. How are we? Good, buddy. How are you? I'm very good, mate. What, very you, good, uh, what are you doing there at the tennis? It's early, but that's okay. I know, it's very early. What's going on with the tennis at, in uh, in Melbourne? We just found out Leighton Hewitt is playing today. Uh, what's going on in Melbourne at the Australian Open? We're all getting set for the Australian Open, which is kicking off next week. Mm-hmm. So all these other tournaments are going on all over Australia. Everyone's getting prepped for, I guess, the big one, the big one which starts next week at, uh, at Rod Laver. So everyone's excited, mate. Very excited. Oh, really? And so are all the ones that are playing here in Sydney going there to play in Melbourne? Yeah, I think um, all the all the little tournaments that are happening now, all the players just are sort of prepping themselves up. They're getting a bit of match fitness and all that sort of stuff. Brody, what do they that. sort of uh, do to get themselves prepped up, as you say? Um, hopefully win the tournaments that they're in and check their back balance and then go, well, I could do it a little oh, more. Brody, I, I was hoping for a little yeah. back and crack sack wax or I don't know. Well, well, they've got to do something. They have to because they run around and get sweaty for hours. But So why are they getting you to do crosses from Melbourne when the tennis is on in Sydney and the tennis isn't on in Melbourne until next week? You're just trying to steal Sydney's thunder. That's right. Well, because we've got the big one. I mean, Melbourne, the home of sport in Australia, surely. When did sport decide to move to Melbourne and live there? Yeah, that's right. That's but, uh, right. Because I, I do believe you only have one rugby league team, Melbourne Storm. Otherwise, who cares? Yeah. I think they won last year, didn't they? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, that's okay. But, uh, no, look, the, um, the tennis takes over in uh, in Melbourne, sort of, for the Australian Open. There's, there's as much going on off the court as there is on. It's just one of those big, big things, and sort of everyone flies down for it, and um, everyone has a good time. It's almost Did, a party, uh, a party I, for two weeks. I like watching it on TV. I can't be bothered going to the tennis because you've got to sit there for hours, and you've got to turn your head that way and your head that way, and you, oh, you no, get some see, I'm a, the, I'm a the bad opposite. Neck. I can't watch it on television, but I can go and watch it at the, like I love watching it live but I can't watch it at home like I, I've got five minutes and I'm out cold I'm napping you know what I reckon you know they need you? to invent at the tennis they need to in, invent remote <laughs> control chairs so you can you can push a button and when the ball goes that way your whole chair moves and you just go Meh, so you don't have to turn your neck the whole time what if you, yeah. what if you suffer from motion sickness <laughs> see that is the reason why Australia is the fattest country in the world per capita because <laughs> yeah. we, we can't even twist our bodies fat ass ideas like that uh, well, yeah. mate, you've, you've got to come down this year. Jump on a plane, check it out. Um, I mean, there's, there's rock bands, there's there's all crazy stuff going on. Lots. What kind lots. of crazy stuff? What kind of parties? What happens at the Melbourne International Tennis Australian Open? The AO 2010. There's, there's parties every night, actually. But I'm I'm fortunate enough. My gig there this year is uh, ball I boy. Just chill out every day in a little cousin's pure oasis. We've got this whole little rainforest thing set up. And, oh, uh, little people rainforest. People are going to be popping in and getting pampered. The players are going to pop in. Celebrities are going to pop in. So I just get to sit, sit back there for the next two weeks and, and you just shows with everyone. So you're just sitting in there, just interviewing people for two weeks in your little yeah, sheltered there, rainforest. Having a little bath, getting with energized. Your, with your my flutes product. of champagne and your it's, hors d'oeuvres walking uh, past. So it's a tennis ca- bordello. You call it a yeah. Cussin's rainforest. So you're sitting in a bathtub just soaping yourself up watching the tennis. So it's, I'm, it's called the Pure Oasis. So, you know, it's, it's somewhere where people can just escape. Cause it does get hot in Melbourne for these next two months. I'm talking 47 degrees. Sounds like some so. sort of ladies erotic novel. Mm. Sounds like an experiential marketing it's campaign. It's hot, saucy, soapy, and there's tennis balls flying everywhere. <laughs> Correct. Exactly. <laughs> Sounds like a movie I once saw. Sounds like I a like it. Or Thai downloaded. Bar. Oh, I'm jealous, Brody. I am jealous. Well, well thank you, Brody. Yeah. Uh, Hey. A one hour and fifteen minute flight away. Oh, well, mate. Well, instead of uh, flying there, because well, I've got to do a job, I'm going to call you and you can just tell me how your bathtub at the tennis is going. We can do that, mate. Absolutely. All right, mate. And I don't know why you're going to be sitting in the bathtub with your cousins, but anyway, <laughs> that, that's, that's a little bit that's a little bit freaky. But I guess that's what people are like down in Melbourne. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, <laughs> find one joke there. Not good. See you, mate. Have fun. Thanks, bro. Okay,